castle. And as I said before, the music changes and now we've got a bit more of an upbeat tone, a bit more synth synthesizer being used. And it should, and it will change one more time uh, as we near the boss. And this is also the introduction of Bloodwater. That's not the official name, but it's colored like blood, and so it must be blood. But the blood water, if you dare get into it, your life will slow... You, you will get hurt. It's kind of like the... Oh, I guess the frozen water from Super Mario 64 off... Uh, the second Snow World. I forgot what it was called, but it, it's just like, the, just like the frigid water from that. Um... You know, like the, yeah, like the freezing water in uh, Legend of Zelda, or just like the oil-ridden water in uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Rusty Bucket Bay. Now, nah, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to Festival Temple. Uh, Abyss of Mario gets one, gets, uh, gets one more weapon. And it's, and it's, I believe it's called the Meat Tenderizer Hammer. And I'm not really sure what it does, but I think, I think when you hit enemies with it, it increases your chances of getting dumplings. I could be wrong, I just, I, I've never used it because I've never found a use for it. Period. And kill these guys for safe measure, and I think this is when we're introduced to, ah, uh, yes, the spinning tops. Much like the spinning tops from Top Man stage in Mega Man 3, you've got to basically stay on the tops as they spin you around and jump from top to top to get across the blood water. The only difference between these tops and the ones on Top Man stage, these actually go across a small little string. Kill the annoying little guys. And they get hurt. Come here! Get a silver key, and now we get to make our way back. And for some unknown reason, I tend to have a harder time on going back across these things than I do going forward. Ah, crap, fell in the water. Doesn't matter. I got out before any real massive damage was done. Okay, here we go. This is one of the more annoying rooms in this game. The best part about this room, though, is that is that there is a sil there is a golden dumpling, and that will always regenerate whenever you leave the room and come back. But as of now, we want to work our way to getting the silver fortune cap. There's also two locks in this room, if I remember correctly. There should be a gold lock down here, and a silver lock on the other side. Well, I can't tell from here, and as the camera pans around... Wow. Well, crap. Well, we'll know when we get over here, won't we? Yep, it's a locked door, and the color is... Silver! So the gold lock must be on the other side. Cool. And we'll worry about that later, but as of now, we want to focus on getting to the only unlocked door in this area. Which I passed, which in reality I should have just went through there first then. Okay, I made a small mistake. I should have went through the door, got whatever key we needed in there, then come back, but whatever. Wind up camera ready. Kill the strange doll. These dolls are, just don't know the name of them. Anyway. So we get our silver key. And now we'll go back to the silver key door. Right 
try to top the spinning tops so we can get a top of our game, and I'm going to stop the lane puns right now. Ah, crap! No! No, 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 no! There are also spinning tops and chameleon twist. Another great N64 game that, if I had, I would definitely do a Let's Play over. Ah, the jump rope room, but we're not gonna worry about jumping rope just yet. Because we're after what's in here. More money so we can spend it on armor. I think these contain dumplings. It's a nice little room in the game. You don't get as far much money as you do in the first room of Odeo Castle, and I could not jump rope to save my life. Or double dutch. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. It will deliberately tell you to get your wind-up camera. Ah! Just so the, that small little pathway now down below will appear. And now we basically walk across this giant wooden platform. And we'll also get a surprise pack. And now we're done with this area of Ghost Toy Castle. We just need to go back across the jump rope room. This time I'll do better. And just avoid all the ropes. Oh, no, 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 There we go. I can't do jump rope. Now make our way back across. To the gold key door. After our top comes. Yay. I hate these spinning platforms. I really, really do. I could have just swam through the blood water, but I didn't, did not want to take any other additional hits. I should have jumped, but no, I was too busy talking! Ah, yes! There we go. Crap! If I can just... Oh, god, that was a failure. But I still got my plum rice balls, so we shouldn't be in too much danger. We now have an army of dolls waiting to kill us and attack us. Now, I don't remember if we get anything from killing everybody. But we need to go back because I think we're... I think this is when we first get our... Yes! Ghost Toy Castle is the first area dungeon in the game where we acquire the diamond key. And now we can play a big game of pool. Which doesn't matter. As soon as you hit it, it basically comes down the nearest goal. Looks like we're playing a game of 8 ball. Oh, come on! Now the 8 ball's gone. There it is. Damn, that's fast. And we get ourselves a silver key. Go into the silver kid room so we can get ourselves the diamond key. After we get on our wind up camera. Oh dear. This is not good. But luckily enough, there is a golden dumpling in the room. All hope is not lost as we kill geisha heads on sticks. Camera pin pan itself. Take a small jump. 